some uh, uh, understanding of how the investigation process would work for electronic transactions per se. What, what are the elements that we can look into now if I am witnessing a certain crime, a certain offence. When, when I went, when I had to browse through certain acts and legislation, you see that most public officers have a responsibility to report these things. Yes. And does that sort of duty arise to a normal citizen or what are the sort of uh, uh, avenues that I could take as a personal individual in terms of supporting the investigation? <laughs> that is a bit of a problem. Yeah. Because it is also one of my personal experiences. I find uh, there are a couple of transactions uh, which had been done okay. uh, without my knowledge okay. because those were not places where I usually eat. Okay. So, uh, so I actually went to financial uh, crimes division and complained it. Okay. Uh, then they made, they did the investigation. But what really happened was that I have bought that drink, that particular juice from one specific place, but the equipment was registered in one specific place. Right. So those things have to be covered because there should be regulations. If the device is there, you have to register the device where the uh, the device is placed right. so the company address is in some other place some other place the business is happening in another place so fair enough by the the business person yeah. but those things are there yeah. um, if, we, if we move further into the the cryptocurrency aspect now uh, I, I want to keep it brief so that you can give us an elaboration on this uh, where are we right now do we because uh, the system or the model behind cryptocurrency is to have its own, uh, within its own uh, sort of uh, the algorithm within it allows you to trace back any sort of transaction that happens. Are we capable enough to identify or is there regulation that, has, that can take place in the future maybe to be more strict on how cryptocurrency transactions work? Cryptocurrency transactions, of course, it's a bit of a very, not bit of a very tricky area because still the Europe, even the European Union is working on it because cryptocurrencies are in a blockchain. Yeah. So most of the people think that blockchain is cryptocurrency. No, uh, it's it's in a blockchain. So uh, all these algorithms, all these programs are made by using a blockchain. So it's really difficult. Uh, even if you have a very good uh, cybersecurity uh, professionals and cybersecurity people or cyber forensic people or whoever, but the thing is, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, uh, there are uh, there are. Uh, authorized cryptocurrencies so you can buy them but the thing is like in Sri Lanka uh, people need uh, what I feel is that people need more money they are more yeah. money oriented yeah. uh, therefore they go for easy uh, earning methods my feeling is that still we have not uh, any country like most of the countries they don't have proper regulations uh, with regard to cryptocurrencies so you have to be careful when you deal with cryptocurrencies because they are really expensive. On top of it, you can see it. Like known devil is uh, there is no better than the, place where you can find. Yeah, it. that's the thing. So uh, I think don't take that risk for the moment.